Hey guys, it's Vivian and I won. And remember how yesterday I uploaded a video about how Ubisoft is not at least going to like the show floor of E3 this year? Well, yeah, I'm not sure if this is because of panic or whether or not it's just like a ripple effect. Like first, it, what I think was Nintendo and Xbox because Sony never hasn't shown up to E3 in a while, I believe, at least not on the floor. Then it was Ubisoft. And now... It's both Sega and Tencent. Okay, see, something is wrong here. Now, this is probably more of a ripple effect or whatever type of effect you call it. Like, some people back out, other people copy. Because, like, Sega and Tencent, they're probably like, hey, we, we don't really need to show up if, you know, Nintendo or someone else isn't there or something like that. I don't know. Maybe the other, like, the smaller developers are just like, we don't need to go to E3 if, like, none of the big three or some of these bigger companies are showing up because we can just be a part of their whatever live event they are doing. So, guys, yeah, this is really bad news for E3 in my opinion. Now, I don't know what will happen, you know, God only knows what's going to happen to E3 in the future, but I'm just, like, right now, it's possible that people just realize, hey, we could do it ourselves and digitally, but still, I hope that doesn't happen because I, I, I like E3, yeah, I've never actually been physically but I like E3. I like especially the, I think it's what it's called, conferences or something like that, where they actually show off all the new games and stuff. But I don't know. This is really bad for E3, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe they'll do something in the next year. Everybody will come flooding back. What do you guys think, though, about this news that now Sega and Tencent have also dropped out of E3 or skipped E3 2023? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.